Hello and welcome to another training video with Antiference. My name's Dan and in this video we're going to look at the dmht one r with IR control. So we've put together a basic setup here which if you've watched any of our other videos it will look vaguely familiar. I'll just quickly talk through what we've set up and then we'll go on to how the IR control fits in with it. So with the unit itself we've got our RF input which is a black cable from a local terrestrial services and the RF output which is connected to our DC pass or sky pass distribution amplifier. Okay, so it's just a two way, but we do a whole range of these. So um, if you need 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, etc., we've got those in the range. So connecting to the UHF input on there. Okay, so obviously we've got our power source plugged in running the modulator. We've got a local TV connected via the HDMI loop out. So that's coming into this TV here. And then this is the HDMI input, which we're using the Sky Q box as a source. And we've got our feed from the main Sky box, because this is the little mini box. Obviously power supply, HDMI into the modulator. Okay, so the setup's there, it's running. So the idea is we'll get our Sky Q services on this TV locally via HDMI. And we'll also get them via the RF distribution system via this distribution amp. So there's a couple of things that we're gonna need. We're gonna need, in order to control the, the device, of course, is the sensor to stick on the front panel. Go. So that's going to stick on there. So the sensor has been designed with a, a, a clear um, a, a cover, which means that once it's stuck over the sensor, you can still control it locally um, if that was a box that was being used locally as well. So we're now going to bring in the RF output side of it. So um, again, we've got our coax cable run, which is going to go from our distribution amp to our TV, and we're using a normal uh, Sky uh, Antiference ME200 Magic Eye. And that's going to plug in to you will notice actually that we've got an attenuator on here as well because um it's quite a small system even with adjusting the output level on the modulator right down the signal is still quite high so we've fitted a, an external attenuator and it's important that it goes at this point with the tv the reason for that is because we need ir to flow or dc to flow from the magic eye through the amp back to the modulator and vice versa so if you put a, an attenuator somewhere else in between here and here it will block the DC, so it's important if you are adding an attenuator to put it at the TV point beyond the magic eye, basically. So now that's completely set up. So we've now got the ability to control our Sky Q box via the modulator and via a distribution amp. Now this will actually run up to our 16-way amp. So if you've got 16 TVs, for example, and you put a magic eye on each one, then you've got the ability to control every TV. Um, and, and this system is very typical. You've probably got it already installed in your home if you've got a Sky system. Um, so in fact, this area of the system, the amp and the magic eyes, very likely will just remain as it is. So that's a simple setup. Um, so do check out our other videos um, on our YouTube channel uh, or more information on the products is antiference.co.uk. So thanks for watching.